Hello there, I'm Giant Girl with my Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we got through um, the Sunny Soul Shady Gym, we beat all of it. And we battled all the trainers and battled Volkner at the end. And got our Beacon Badge, the 8th Gym Badge of Sinnoh. And yeah, now we also got the Waterfall, HM07 Waterfall with HM from Jasmine, who was on that beach we just saw there. I should put Repel on. Ah, oh, too late. Well, the good news was that Pelipper uh, didn't do any damage to... um to bronze but in bronze almost is at level 45 or 44 I think yeah 44 so I'm gonna put a pet one actually though because I don't want to want any more, more any more Pokemon so I'm just gonna do that real quick there we go here's my repel was awesome I do have five escape groups that's pretty cool I think there may be a hidden item on that island but I'm too lazy to check I think this um swimmer right here uh, you know she's a female swimmer trainer and she has um a finion i think a luminion which is really good for your pokedex i think this is the only way you can see it in your pokedex so it's very important that you battle her i'm determined to go to the pokemon league no matter how hard it is Okay, so bronze in that last battle, grade level 44. So I'm gonna put Jet up front now. And let's continue on. Here's another trainer right here. Let's take her on. Excuse me for wearing my bikini. Well, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> I realized when I was fighting that Azumarill that um, it used Rain Dance, therefore Jedi's ability Swift Swim kicked in where it raised its speed. So that's pretty cool. Let's switch to Rose then. Let's move on though. Let's battle this f uh, sw ah. That um... Oh man. That um... Wild... The cruel was very mean. It was level 44, so it didn't get repelled from the repel. And it kind of, as you can see on the bottom screen, it kind of took a lot of damage, gave a lot of damage to, um, or, yeah, it caused a lot of damage to Rose, I should say. I train at a Pokemon Gym too. Don't think we're, you're gonna win easily. Battle is really hard just because of Mantine. Jeez. Let's see, I think it's still for Pelop. Okay, I'll just double check in. So here's a double battle. But um I wanna heal my Pokemon actually. They're kinda my my first Pokemon obviously. Mmm. Just use potions, I guess. Using a lot of potions here, yeah. Let's use one more potion on uh, bronze. 
There we go, that should be good. Now we can take on that dove battle. Are you kidding me? Okay, I just ran from that tentacle. I just want to move on with this double, with this double battle, you know? I forgot to read your dog, sorry. Uh, deep breathing before battle. That was a fairly easy battle, so that's good. Yeah, um... I guess we can move Karen up to the front. What, how much, how long, how far is... Okay, Bronze is really close to level 1 up, actually. So let's put Bronze up to the front for now. Going straight, I guess. Okay, now let's face this swimmer right here, I guess. Your Pokemon aren't, isn't tired, even though it's been carrying you on its back. Yeah, Fultzel's very, very, you know, loyal to me, I guess. Let's see how strong that Pokemon is. Okay? Sure, why not? Okay, that battle is fairly easy. Um, let me see here. I'll put Karen up front, I guess. He's a sailor, dude. Let's battle him, I guess. I came here because I wanted to see the Pokemon League for myself. So in that last battle, uh, Karen grew to level 45 and wear Night Slash. I got rid of Wing Attack, because I really don't need Wing Attack if I have like Aerius and Fly. So that's why I got rid of Wing Attack. So let's put Jet up front, I guess. And up here's an item. It's a Pearl, very worth picking up. We can sell that at the Pokemon. Right? And uh, we're gonna surf again, but then get off Fort Soul again or Jetta really quickly. There we go. And then we surf on Jetta yet again. So here's another tr uh, swimmer, female tr swimmer. My favorite kind of guy is someone that looks good out on the open sea. Okay, that was a fairly easy battle, but I'm gonna heal up, um, uh, Jetta. And let's give him, let's give her one potion too. That should be good, yeah. It's not full healed, but Jetta, Jetta's gonna do fine. Here's another battle. Did, did you know I was crowned the champion of a swimsuit contest? So now I'm trying to win a title at a Pokemon contest. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting close to the victory ride, I can tell. Especially if we can see the waterfall coming up soon. Here's another swimmer, dude. Let's battle him. Hey, yes, I know I can surf, but I'd rather swim instead. It does some. It does seem weird. I agree. I agree. That was a long- I didn't, I didn't mean to press my Y select or whatever. But yeah, that was a long battle because that was a Gyarados, you know? But no, Jedi did go, go, go to level 45, so that's good. Let's have Inferno up front, why not? We're almost there anyway. See, there's a waterfall. Nice. A small waterfall, but still waterfall. So now you can use waterfall. And oh look, it looks like it's being in Victory Road, but first there's a Pokemon Center. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond uh, Redo Walkthrough Guide part. The next part will take on Victory Road. Victory Road might take two parts, maybe even three to, you know, complete. Because I want to buy all the trainers and get all the items I can. Uh, I definitely want to get the TM for Dog Pulse, which is in Victory Road somewhere. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to invite you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. So before I end off this part, um, I actually uh, record, tried to record the next part after this part earlier, but um, the Pokemon, the what Pokemon here, like level 45, level 46, so like, and the repels wouldn't work, wouldn't, um, the repels had no really no effect because I was still running into a what Pokemon because they're um, higher level than my first Pokemon in my party. So for example, Inferno's level 44, so it couldn't repel all the Pokemon. In fact, most of the Pokemon, if not all the Pokemon, were not repelled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another off-screen training session. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna raise everyone up to level 48, and that should do it. And then um then I'll do Victory Road, and then I'll you know um do the Whatever lies before after that, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played this game. But I'll do whatever I, I need to do after that, and then of course when it comes time for training with the for the Pokemon League taking on it before that, I'm gonna uh, train even some more uh, to train for the Pokemon League too. Because so, that's like always how I do it in these Pokemon games. I like to be uh, well, uh, you know, fairly ahead with levels, so like I don't have a hard time in the Pokemon League. But again, it's kind of a challenge too. But I just like you know. Getting through the Pokemon League and having to and becoming the champion, I like that kind of feeling, you know. So yeah, this has been Jaco again. I would like to invite you again. Goodbye, and we'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. Yeah, so this should be the final uh, segment of this video. It should be. So I want to uh, show that I got everyone up to level 48, except for Drago. But I'm gonna use a rare candy on Drago because it evolves at level 48, and I forgot that. And it evolves into Garchomp at level 48. So I'm gonna give it a rare candy to it now. It has low. Exp Experience to next level, that's good. So that means I can just use the rare candy, level him up, and then he'll be a Garchomp, really. Yeah, so Drago's now level to 48. It's awesome. What? Drago is evolving? Drago is evolving! My last Pokemon to reach its final evolutionary stage for this walkthrough guide. It's a happy day, as I said before. Nice. When a Pokemon evolved, you know, I say it's a happy day for some reason. Yeah, Drago evolved into Garchomp. That's pretty cool. Wants to win Crunch, okay. Yes, um, that's actually one of its moves in its final move set, which means should be deleted. Let's get rid of um Slash, cause uh when it reach, well, I think I it can learn uh Dragon Pulse by either TM or leveling up. So I'm gonna get rid of Dragon Rage when uh you know when um that opportunity comes to arise where I can learn it either by TM or by leveling up by learning Dragon Pulse. So I'm gonna get rid of Slash to get for Crunch. Because Slash is 70 power, Crunch is 80 power, and it's Dark type. I guess I'm just gonna give it a Slash. I don't need any more, honestly. I'd rather have Crunch anyway. One, two, and poof. Drago forgot learn how to, forgot how to use Slash, and Drago learned Crunch. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So now Evan is level 48. So again, I'm gonna put Rose on the PC, and then uh, withdraw 
Beck to get because you need Rock Smash, sur uh, Surf, Strength, Rock Climb, and Waterfall to get. Well, you don't need Waterfall to get through um, Victory Road. You just need it if you want to explore more areas in Victory Road. So Waterfall is kind of optional. Okay, so um, if if 48 is still not a high enough level for um my Pokemon to avoid being uh, encountered by wild Pokemon with a repel. Uh, effect on, then I'll have to raise them up to like level 51, because I actually looked on Bulbapedia earlier, and it said like the most, the, the most, the highest level Pokemon in like Victory Road are level 50. And uh, those are like the um, surfing uh, wild Pokemon, like you can only encounter during surf, but still. But I think level 48 should do it, it should be high enough, so if not, again, I'll just do some off camera training and train them up to level 51 each. Which shouldn't take too long, honestly. So that's good. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond video walkthrough guide.